welcome back to our channel today i would like to discuss about the most economical channel section part 2 here in this video we are going to see the conditions of a triangular channel section to be most efficient and economical so let us move to the topic here is a triangular channel section and that triangular channel section have a depth of y and I am drawing a perpendicular from the bottom most portion of the channel to the midpoint of the top width. Okay. And the angle made by the sloping side to the vertical is named as theta and the top width is 2x that is x from a to the vertical and then to c now we know the condition for a channel section to be most economical is discharge should be maximum and we should have less cost that is we have to reduce the perimeter right in order to reduce the perimeter here in triangular channel section we are trying to keep the area as constant so when you reduce the perimeter obviously the linings required for the perimeter will get reduced so we have only minimum lining requirement then it will help us to reduce the cost so we are going to reduce the perimeter for obtaining a maximum discharge for a given area so here is our channel section with y as the depth of flow and area of the triangular channel section, this particular triangle can be written as A is equal to half into X into Y. If I am dividing the entire channel section into two triangles, these two triangles are right angle triangles with base width X and altitude Y. So the area will be equal to two times area of one right angle triangle that is two times half into X into Y. So I can write 2 and half get cancelled. So area will be equal to x into y. Now I'm naming the triangular channel section as ABC and the point at which this vertical meet the top width as O. Now I'm considering the triangle ABO, this right angle triangle. And when I write tan theta which is equal to opposite side by adjacent side that is x by y then I can write x in terms of tan theta and y that is x is equal to y into tan theta now the area equation for area will change as applying this x equal to y tan theta the equation of area will become a is equal to y tan theta into y which is equal to area is equal to y square tan theta so we have the equation for area that is y square tan theta now from this equation i can write y is equal to root of a by tan theta so let us keep this equation as equation number one and we will see the perimeter of the channel so we know the perimeter is the length of sides which are in contact with liquid or fluid containing in the channel. So here perimeter P is equal to AB plus BC. So again I am considering the triangle ABO. I can write cos theta is equal to BO divided by AB or AB can be written as Y divided by cos theta or 1 by cos theta is sec theta. So AB is Y sec theta and bc is also y sec theta so the perimeter p will become ab plus bc is equal to y sec theta plus y sec theta which is equal to 2y sec theta so we have equation for perimeter and equation for area so from the equation one that is y is equal to root a by root tan theta we can write perimeter as p is equal to 2 times instead of y and substituting this equation so 2 times root of a by tan theta into sec theta 
So I am keeping this equation of perimeter as second equation. Now assuming the area to be constant and for making the perimeter maximum we know the perimeter we vary according to the angle. Therefore dp by d theta should be equal to 0. So we have the equation for perimeter p is equal to 2 times root of a by tan theta into sec theta and when I differentiate it, it with respect to d theta it will become d by d theta of 2 root a into sec theta divided by root tan theta and 2 root a is a constant which have no theta value so I can take it outside and then d by d theta of sec theta by root tan theta which is equal to sec theta into tan theta divided by root tan theta minus sec theta c theta cube divided by 2 times tan theta whole raised to 3 by 2. So this is the differentiation part and after that I can write this equation is equal to 0 dp by d theta is 0. So I am writing down this equation and then cancelling the sec theta from both from both the parts so that I will get tan theta divided by root tan theta minus 6 square theta divided by 2 tan theta whole raised to 3 by 2. So in order to make the denominator common, I am multiplying this portion with tan 2 tan theta. So I am multiplying 2 tan theta in numerator and denominator. Then the equation becomes 2 tan square theta minus c square theta divided by 2 tan theta whole raised to 3 by 2 where I am taking the 2 tan theta whole raised to 3 by 2 into right hand side which multiply with 0 will become again 0 so the equation this equation will become 2 tan square theta minus c square theta is equal to 0 or I can write 2 tan square theta is equal to c square theta and Taking the root on both sides, it will become root 2 into tan theta is equal to sec theta. So we know what is tan theta. Tan theta is sin theta by cos theta and sec theta is 1 by cos theta. So I am cancelling the cos theta from both sides. Then the equation becomes sin theta is equal to 1 by root 2. And we know for which angle sin, sin, theta, sin value gives you 1 by root 2. That is for theta is equal to 45 degree. So we got that for a triangular channel section to be most economical or most efficient when the slopes, sloping side makes an angle of 45 degree with the vertical. That is our figure will become like this. When I apply the theta value in the equation for area, area will become y square and for perimeter when I apply theta is equal to 45 degree in the equation for perimeter, the perimeter value will become 2 root 2 y. Here we are applying root a instead of root a I am writing root of y square that's why here y came. Okay, So perimeter is equal to 2 root 2 into y. Now let us calculate the hydraulic radius. Hydraulic radius is A by P or area by perimeter. By just substituting the value equations, we will get hydraulic perimeter as Y by 2 root 2. So for a triangular channel section to be most economical, hydraulic radius value will give you M is equal to Y by 2 root 2. So this is the condition for a triangular channel section to be most economical. The first condition is sloping sides makes an angle 45 degree with the vertical and hydraulic radius is equal to y by 2 root 2. You should keep in that mind that it is the vertical from vertical the angle is 45 degree. So in a triangular channel section, when we calculate the total angle, the channel section total angle is 90 degree, which is, and both sides, these 
AB and BC are equal. So I can also say that the triangular channel section to be most economical, it is a half portion of a square, right? If we have both sides equal and the angle made by these both sides 90 degree, so it is a half portion of square. Okay, so that keep that in mind. So this is all about the conditions for a triangular channel section to be most economical. Thank you.